Go ahead. In the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, Father Almighty God, we thank you, Lord, and praise you, Lord, for this beautiful day and a beautiful month, and we have come, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for each minute and every second of each of these days. You bless us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. You are a potter and we are your clay, O oh Lord. And here we are, Lord, asking you to mold us according to your will, O oh Lord. We submit to you, O oh Lord, through your word, your word, the living word. We believe your word and we are in agreement with your word. And we submit to you, Lord, because as the porter molds his vessels, so you are here to mold us according to your word. Lord, we thank you for our sister Janet will be breaking your word, O oh Lord. Let your word reach our hearts and minds and souls, O oh Lord. Bless everyone on this platform, every person who is using the internet and all the gadgets, bless that, O oh Lord, so that you may be glorified in your word. Father Almighty God, in Jesus' name, I make this prayer to you. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, in Jesus' name. Praise amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So uh, before I start, I will, I will share first my testimony today. Praise God. Um, it's just a small testimony. And um, um, today, when I, I mean this afternoon, when we go to... Um, we go to the bank with my husband. Praise God. Um, there is a man on the street that like um asking for help. Praise God. He's not a beggar, but praise the Lord. He um when my husband so I have not saw it. He saw a man and he has this uh, folder envelope he's carrying, and uh, like asking money and suddenly he said to me the man is asking i said huh you know i have seen that he's not a big uh beggar praise god and then i i feel that he is not but still i uh, approached him and because he said go and and give money he said to me praise god thank you jesus and as i go to him and i ask what happened and praise God, when I talked to him, he said that he lost his job. He lost his job. It's like um, it's like uh, today is the day that uh, like last day, and he is like yeah, end of his um job of his contract. And I was keep talking to him, praise God, and he's explaining about he's old already, praise God, and. And uh, praise the Lord that the, the Lord really speak, and uh, and he, you know I see in his eyes it's like crying, and you know that tears that is coming, and I see just just go to Jesus. My words is like go to Jesus, you know. I said you, and he is like agreeing to me, like nodding, go to Jesus, and you know Jesus is alive, and he know it, he know Jesus, and I said you know that Jesus is alive, and he died for us, he died for you. And I know the Lord will bless you. Go to him and visit him in the church and come to him. Praise God. And I feel that light in him. And I praise the Lord. And uh, and uh, we just give some money. And and I feel that peace. And I know that it's just uh, that word that I think that man needs. That um, And I know that the Lord is there also to, to encounter him. And that's just... You know that word that um that we that he needs 
praise God. You know, sometimes when we are in problem like that problem, you know, we lost job, we lost, lost opportunity of business. We just need Jesus. And we need someone to speak to us to really, you know, uh, to to enlighten us. Praise God. And uh, praise the Lord. I see that light on the face of the man. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And that's how the Lord really um, use us. Um, now, um, I don't know, before I always, yeah, you know, share in the taxi driver, but now when I go out and I counter and, you know, last time I testify also that, that man that I meet in 7-Eleven, that he, his daughter has, um, what is that? Yokimia. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And he still, I just said, go to Jesus. The Lord loves and your daughter is not your daughter. It's, it's the daughter of God. And that the light, the light that, that the father has received. And I know, and I believe that that daughter of that man is already healed. And Jesus already encountered the family. As he sent me to that place where um I mean he arranged it to 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 speak his name, his his word. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We just have to obey. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Am I clear? Yes, 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 my teaching is about actually it's it's um about the fear of the Lord. But I will share first this verse. Uh, it's you know we always have fear in the physical, but you know fear not, but fear the Lord. So we have to fear the Lord instead of fear those work of the enemy in us. Praise God. So this verse is about Jesus who has the seven spirits, okay? So all of us, we are called to walk in a spirit, to live in a spirit, not in our flesh, not in our, you know, desire of our flesh, but to desire the, to desire the spirit of God. He's, he's, he's called his will for us. Praise God. And I have learned that Jesus has these seven spirits, okay? He walked on this earth having the seven spirits. So the first one is the spirit of the Lord. These are deep teaching that I've learned in other Bible study, and I want to share it to all of you so that we all learn how to walk in the spirit, not on our flesh, okay? So first is the spirit of the Lord rest will rest on him the spirit of wisdom and of understanding the spirit of counsel and of might the spirit of knowledge and fear of the lord praise god so the first spirit that jesus has is the spirit of the lord and the second is the spirit of wisdom so these are spirit in the spiritual realm and spirit of understanding, and spirit of counsel, and spirit of might. So this is sick. And knowledge and fear of the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So these are the spirit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you get it? The spirit of the Lord is one. Two is wisdom, understanding. Three, counsel, four, might knowledge and fear of the lord praise god so when jesus walked in this earth he has this seven spirit and all of us we have to really you know come to the lord to receive this the same gift that the father gave to jesus which has to be i mean receive we have to receive it but you know to receive it so we have to really come closer to him Praise God. And and one of my this the topic that I want to share is fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. 
So let's go to Proverbs. This um one spirit that we learned today is the spirit of fear of the Lord. Proverbs 8, 13. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, it said here, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. I, I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior and perverse speech. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Once we understand that we have this spirit of fear of the Lord, now we learn to hate evil. And we hate pride. We hate pride and arrogance. It begins with ourselves. Even in me, sometimes, you know, when I start I'm walking with the Lord, that pride and arrogance, the Lord is working in me to destroy it. And I've learned from it, you know, from the beginning, you know, when um, in marriage, okay, let's see in marriage, and it's my testimony. Before, when, um, when I'm single, I have so much pride. If I don't like, I would just let go and, you know, just leave it. But in marriage, when there's a problem, you cannot just let go and leave, right? Because there is, there is covenant in our marriage. And the covenant is not just in our husband or wife, but it's the covenant of God. Okay? So what I've learned, that one, even that time on the beginning of our marriage, there's so many persecutions. The enemy will always come to really destroy marriages. But if we don't recognize the work of the devil, we always think that it is our 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 spouse that do it, right? And sometimes we really think, and sometimes we, you know, the it's like uh, we really want to give up because it's like it's it's too much. Praise God! But once we have fear, fear with the Lord fear to our Lord Jesus Christ and the, the covenant that we have, we cannot do it. Because it's not about our, our spouse that sealed that covenant. It's the sealed with God. It's the sealed with Jesus that we that we we promise on our wedding day. Praise God. And I you know I have that so many battle and I really stand firm with the Lord. I really stand, Lord, this is your plan. This is, you know, your words said, you, we are your beloved. You love us and you provide. And, you know, the promises, sometimes I, 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 I you know, I, I ask him. Because, you know, when you think that's so difficult already. But uh, I also said that. Um, it's because of you, Lord, that I hold this marriage. It's because of you that I hold on. Because if we, if we focus to the other side, example, our spouse, sometimes we think that we are right and they're wrong and we just want to give up. Praise God. But the fear of the Lord is the one we we'll hold on make us hold on on that on the marriage on our marriage praise god thank you jesus and that's i've learned a lot and pride yeah when we hold on we destroy that pride in us we destroy that arrogance in us and we die to ourselves we humble ourselves we humble ourselves and we accept that pain, whatever the other side is throwing in us, whatever he said, whatever that situation, even we are right. We humble ourselves and to make peace, make peace and on the family, on the situation. 
praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I've learned how how to quiet myself when the enemy has thrown something negative or words that is not pleasing, that is not from God. The Lord said, quiet and don't speak even in one word. I will just love quiet, no words, even speak so many what he teach me how to quiet and that is humility and that is also fear of the lord to really quiet because you know when we reflect how jesus being being persecuted he don't even speak one word you know and the same way when we go through into the fire we just quiet and that is wisdom, and that is also fear of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And all these, and these are um, the work of the Lord. We have to learn to hate evil. And I hate pride and arrogance and evil behavior and perverse speech. Those uh, negative words that is coming out, that one has to be cut out. You know, the cursing and even um, negative expression. I've learned also that one. The Lord does it purify, purify our words. Praise God. Thank you. And our behavior. Behavior. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone want to share about this verse? There's verse is so many in our life we can... Uh, we can testify many that uh, we encounter, that we stand what is right, what is, uh, uh, we fear the Lord instead of doing, you know, what our flesh desire. Flesh desire is one is pride. Okay, if the Lord said forgive and make peace with your spouse, then we obey. We die to ourselves. We die to the 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 this the you know the flesh screaming but because of the fear of fear that we have for for our lord then we obey and we forgive and we make peace praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus there's another one testimony that i want to share um um we yeah this one example of hate hating on uh, evil so we move in the new place and i book a truck you know a truck to to uh, carry all our things and when i book it when and when i talk to the driver because i book advance he said to me ma'am you can you can cancel the booking he said you can cancel the booking and I saw that we can get um more booking, something like that. Praise the Lord. So whose word that one? You know, the devil teaching us how to do what is wrong, right? So I immediately um um answer the driver in text that that I will not um cancel the booking. And I will not do what you want to do because um it's not right. And please don't teach me what is wrong. I said, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And I know that that side, the driver's side also, he learned. Because if we don't correct the person, he will do it in his business many times. And those cheating like that, I mentioned to him that we are cheating the the app, the company that we are using, we cancel and then you will come and then because you cancel it, of course, the company cannot earn. So we, we are cheating. And then because I agree with the person, example, if I agree, then I am, what is that? I am agreeing with the evil things, the work of the devil. And this this one is we are to be very careful because this one can 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 block our blessings. Sometimes we just you know if we are not mindful we just say okay we'll just cancel it and you just come and then. But if we are we have that fear of the Lord, we have to be very careful. 
very careful because these are the things that you know the work of the enemy that want us to be involved right but if we are not uh, we are not careful we will be trapped we we involve and then that's the you know the the curse of cheating we come back to us once we involve of all this uh, work of the enemy praise god and then that's how i i just speak i said that no we will i will not cancel and uh, please um don't don't teach me what is wrong and praise god he said okay mom praise the lord thank you jesus i think that there is a uh, enlightening in him and he is corrected and i pray that in the, uh, his next booking he will not do it praise god thank you jesus so anyone want to share in this um verse have you experienced this fear of the lord that instead of doing what is you know what is and there there is another scripture um psalm 31 39 verse 1 and it's really kind of um, saying um, 39 psalm verse 1 praise god thank you jesus mm. It says, I, in the King James Version, it says, I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. So it's kind of like bridle our mouths in the presence of evil. And when you think of, when you think of a donkey or a horse, he's a bridle mm -hmm. in his mouth and the person is on the donkey. Mm -hmm. They use the, 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 the ropes coming from it, you know, steer him in the different direction. And also the bridle is in so that he can't, can't bite anybody when the bridle is in, you know. So it's kind of like um, the bridle stops the donkey from biting. And I suppose the same with us humans, if we can bridle our mouth in the presence, we won't bite back at people yeah. the way the way that they might with us. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. They said here that I sin not with my tongue. Praise God it is powerful because our tongue is very quickly, quickly to say one is to complain. That's also number one that the Lord is um, working in me. Even until now, you know, the, the working of the Holy Spirit is until until the, our death, okay? Uh, you know, we're not perfect and we sometimes always fall and the Lord is always there to lift us up. And one of that, the Lord purify is our tongue to really cleanse our words that we always only speak what is right. And that's how when we look at Jesus, he he's so quiet. And when he speak, we just he just speak few words that he like how he he healed people. He just you know walk and what is that? Take up your mat and walk. That's it. He don't pray many words. And that because Jesus is so quiet and um don't speak anything um rubbish, you know. Uh, and, and I mean that's we also learn that we have to 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 guard our tongue, praise God, and purify. I've been complaining, you know. I've shared. I will. I will share when. And uh, it's good that the Lord really brings me into Bible study, and the beginning of of yeah my marriage mm. before i worked like eight years in the corporate work and when i married I, I got married i don't work and we do this real estate business and praise god you know when uh, because we bore, before you sometimes we go always go back to the past right we compare compare our life and you know when married with you do we do some household everything and it's like, you know, that time, it's like like my life is like changed completely that, you know, I cannot just go to the office and just, you know, like that and yeah. and just do some housework. And I complain, praise God, and the Lord correct me. From now on, no more complain. And I'm that starting on the Bible study. So that time, the Lord has correct me and... And from that time, 
whatever it is, the work, it's difficult or not, or what, or this, I never complain. And that's the Lord has one taught me. Praise God. No more complain because the time we complain, he don't like it and he's not pleased of the complaining person or complaining heart. So, and that's what I've learned. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why and, I said that I sin not with my tongue because <laughs> our tongue is very easy to complain, right? Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And St. Francis of Assisi said, when you pre preach the gospel at all times, use mm -hmm. words only when necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Francis. Thank you, Jesus. And I will share another one, Proverbs. All these are fear. And I'll later in the last part, I will share about of fear of the Lord. In Proverbs 23, 17, let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. Praise God. Envy sinners. So we should not envy sinners. Sometimes, you know, we compare our life with others. We compare to our neighbors, to our brothers, sisters, in the family. You know, sometimes in the family, there are, we have brothers that are successful. And that is not sometimes we compare. Praise God. But said here, be thou in the fear of the Lord all day long. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We have to really cut that envy. Praise God. And instead, fear of the Lord. And we have another one. Today, we only we learn only this spirit of fear of the Lord. One of the spirit of Jesus that has, which is fear of the Lord. So we just learn all this um Deuteronomy mm. Mm. it said here so the in Deuteronomy six two that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that, and that thy days may, pro, may be prolonged. Praise God. So fear of the Lord is to keep all his statutes and his commandments. Like what I've shared, the covenant. That's in a, a marriage. But we have learned a lot in his word, his statutes and his commandments. And this way, once we have that fear of the Lord, the, our days will be prolonged. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Another one in Psalm... Psalm 103, 11. For mm. as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Praise God. Praise God. Once Praise we God. have... We have that fear of him. So great is his mercy. We cannot imagine that mercy of God once we have fear of him, once we have obey his word, once we we disagree with the work of the devil, with the voice of the enemy. We hate evil and we do what is right. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. So I want to share. I don't know if you know about um wisdom of Ben Sarah. Because I find that it's not here in Bible Gateway and I find here in Bible USCCB. So I will share here the many teaching that I've learned and wisdom wisdom of Ben Sira. It's in my Bible. So when I checked today, I said, why it's not here in, you know, in KJV like that? This one I find in Catholic Bible. It's, the, it's, it's yeah, it's only in the Catholic yeah. version. It's in the other yeah. Bibles. So. Yeah, praise God. So Wasn't... here I learned this one. Um, when I open my Bible, I've learned here. Now let me go to Bonshera 2. Mm. And there are many teaching here. Trust the Lord. So in verse 7, it said here, You that fear the Lord. Yeah. You that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Do not stray, lest you fall. Praise God. Number one is wait. Once we have that fear of the Lord, we have to really wait for Him. Wait for our healing. Wait for our financial breakthrough. Wait, wait. We have to wait. We have to hold on. Hold on. Be, don't be anxious. Wait, but come on prayer. Come on prayer every day. You know, in our daily life, the Holy Spirit is always with us, right? So just come and communicate and walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. Then he said, you that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy. Do not stray lest you fall. Once we have that fear of the Lord, that waiting is nothing. Yeah? We, we can endure that, you know, we will have patience once that fear, spirit of fear of the Lord. We, we really look on Him and trust Him and let Him do whatever He wants in our life and lead us. You know, He is our shepherd. And the Psalm 23, He is our shepherd and there's nothing we lack. So He's everything. We just need Jesus and everything will come to fall to to come to pass in our life praise god and in verse 8 it said you that fear the lord trust in him and your reward will not be lost praise god so first is we wait and the verse 7 the waiting the fear of the lord we have to learn how to wait and second is to trust him if we have that fear of the Lord, we have to trust Him. And your reward will not be lost. Praise God. We have to trust Him completely in our life. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. There's always in my, in, you know, in my life experience, you know, there's always a, a, a battle, you know, and mostly in my battle is, in my marriage because the devil is one to destroy marriages i don't know if you experience it or i only experience it okay but in my experience the devil will always come to destroy marriage okay and you know and when i feel that it coming back again and it coming back again and i said lord i surrender i surrender this situation to you and you take over. And then I will zip my mouth. And I will just do my 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 work. And let him do it. And praise God. On the other side, he will just receive peace. And he will just talk to me. And I will just talk to him. And it's like nothing. That's how we fight the battle now. I've learned a lot of that. How once the, the battle is, you know, the waves is huge. And I feel that I cannot, you know, it's not on my strength anymore. So I've just come in prayer and I said, Lord, I surrender this situation to you. 
do it um bring peace in us and just uh do your your will and praise god it's once the lord take over you know what happened it's just nothing happened we just have peace in just uh, you know praise god and i've learned this one praise the lord thank you jesus and it said here you that fear the lord so we have to trust him trust in him and your reward will not be lost praise god once that spirit of fear in us will learn now how to trust him how to surrender everything surrender our finances surrender our our job our business our family the situation of the family surrender everything to him praise god i've learned also to trust you know when we we go we have vacation <laughs> in china we have two months vacation in my in-laws and uh, on the two months uh, no sales okay no sales but i come to him lord i trust this this vacation to you i know that this is your plan this is your i mean you have planned it for a long time but because you know the devil always come to still kill and destroy I don't want to 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 for us to go there because the work of the enemy is is to block you know my husband has not go in his hometown for 10 years okay 10 years but praise the lord the lord arranged it the lord arranged before he has so much so much you know don't want to go don't want to go home don't want like that praise god but the lord really arranged it and i surrender but praise god when we are there when we are there so i just we do some um we stayed there and it was a good re reconciliation of the family it was a good um, like uh, the love was been poured out the love of god because i i i asked the lord to really come with us and to reconcile and to pour us his love through us that us that we receive that love and i feel that that you know the power of god and it was good that when we are there um it's good that i cannot understand chinese so my mind is not polluted you know that i cannot hear any negative or what even they speak negative or what we cannot please anyone right so uh, whatever it is so i mean uh, those around us not in the family you know, you know that the neighbors they will say negative words what but i just really surrendered to him and praise god you know on that before the end of the two months that we plan to go back here in philippines the lord arranged our uh, um two transaction for us and we have closed that deal even we are in china we just talk to the client online and it's all his work praise god because i learned to surrender i i just said lord it's your work you will do it and i've learned also to say you know the the spirit the the goodness and mercy of god pursue us pursue me the goodness and mercy of god pursue me so the goodness it's one of the spirit and the mercy is another spirit pursue us so once we speak it because the the word is jesus right the word is jesus and the angels is just listening the word okay the angels are listening the word once we speak that word the goodness and mercy pursue us or pursue me the angels will come to really pursue you and me and that's why the speaking of the word is important not just we 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 keep it in our heart and we don't speak we have to really speak and we declare the goodness of the lord the goodness and mercy of the lord pursue us it's in the psalm 23 all those words are so good i have like that words are manifest to me and even you know he said this i set a table before you the lord set a table before us 
And I that word is so powerful because when I was there, my in-laws were set a table before me. So it's like the word so, so, you know, like become flesh that, wow, if my in-laws set a table before me, how much more the Lord, he just set everything. I will just get what I want. And in the last verse of that Psalm 23, it said, it said, I'm dwelling in the house of the Lord. Dwelling in the house of the Lord. When we dwell in the house of the Lord, it's all available in us. Everything is available. You know, we are in the inside of the house. We have access with the Lord. We have access in His grace because He said, I set a table before you before us before you so we have we just have to imagine that jesus already given everything for us and he has already set it and we just have to take it take it praise god thank you jesus but i've learned also that we have learned also that even the Lord has already set a table before us and we are dwelling in the house of the Lord. We have still to work, to work on our part. So because when we look at the, the parable of the servant, you know, he hates the, the last servants which do, didn't, did his part. The Lord, like, uh, uh, he's not pleased, right? So he's not pleased to those lazy servant. So we have also to work in our part. Praise God. Even we are dwelling in the house of the Lord, we work on our part. Even he has already set a table before us, we have to work. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Because he is not pleased to those lazy. Praise God. That's what I've learned. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we continue. Praise God. Anyone want to share? Do you do you get the, the message? Praise God. Are you there? Yes. And okay. praise God for the teaching. Um yeah. I have yeah found it in my own life too that when, when I can keep when I can keep my mouth shut. Mm. The, you see, it needs two people in order for the devil to kind of set and to really operate. So when one keeps their mouth shut, therefore the other person doesn't. You know what I mean? It's so it's it really it really does work. It works and uh, praise God, yeah, for it. I didn't. My marriage had broken up, but um, I didn't really know that 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 at that time. But mm. praise God, yeah, it's just in praise in God life and come to the Lord, yeah, yes. Praise God. You know, make yes, away Lord. whatever is will, just surrender your life and the family. Because yes, yes. Is, yeah. The well, that was uh, 25 yeah. years ago. So, um, but anyway, yeah, yeah, praise God. I've come, I've come mm -hmm. to, um, through, um, Brother mm -hmm. Johnson in 2018. I came to, into the word. So, praise God. Yes. I, um, am, am stood, you know, studying the word and listening to the podcast. And it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it makes a huge difference and great mm -hmm. peace. In my, yeah. in my heart, praise, praise God. God. Yeah. Just... You know, one of the gifts of the Lord, once we receive him, is one is peace. You know, once we, you feel it, once uh, you were, we receive the Lord, the one of the gifts is that peace. Even, you know, around us is like troubling. There is fire or there is wave, whatever it is. But the inside of us, in our heart, is there is so much peace, so much peace in from Him in our mind and in our heart, so much peace. So that's what I've experienced. Praise God, even you know, and even you know the around. But I will just come to the Lord, and we I just talk to Him, and you know, I just communicate, and there's so much peace that you know. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you have experienced that one, but praise God, that's what I've I've experienced now in in you know walking, walking with the Lord, walking learn walking in spirit. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. And then we yes. continue. Yeah, yeah. We learn about the first is we learn about to wait 
fear of the Lord is wait for his mercy. Second is trust in him. Okay? You will wait and because if we don't, you know, it's a do not stray list you fall. Once we don't wait, we are anxious, we want instant noodles, then we fall. We are not waiting on him. Like how, you know, who is that? Um, um, I forgot. Saul, Saul, don't wait for. Who is that prophet? Yeah, and uh, what happened is his, you know, the anointing has cut and it has transferred to David because he is anxious. He don't wait. Okay. Then second is trust in him. And your reward will not be lost. And third is, you that fear the Lord, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. Praise God. So there is always hope. Once there is fear, fear, fear of the Lord, there is always hope. When we, once we receive that fear of the Lord, we, all, we always hope in Him. We always hope in him. Even we, when we see around us, it's not happening or it's impossible. But he said here, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. For lasting joy and mercy. You know, when when we when we look at the to the persecution of Jesus, Jesus don't look at on the cross. He look at on the lasting joy, the crown of joy. Because if we look at only until there, you know, if there's no resurrection, nothing, we, we cannot also receive that, um, that, you know, our resurrection, our, the Holy Spirit will save us right now. We receive the Holy Spirit and the salvation that Jesus did. And praise God, you know, Jesus look at for that, joy that behind that cross that the father has prepared for him the crown of joy that you know he is seated at the right hand of the father praise god thank you jesus and then in verse in verse 10 it said consider the generation generation long past and see has anyone trusted in the Lord and has been disappointed? Has anyone persevered in his fear and been forsaken? Has anyone called upon him and been ignored? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So we just continue to trust, to persevere, and to call upon him. Okay? And then in verse 11, for the Lord is compassionate and merciful, forgives sins and saves in time of trouble. Praise God. We go back to verse 16. With, yeah, 16. We still focus on fear of the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Those who fear the Lord do not disobey his words. Those who love keep those who love him keep his ways. Praise God. We keep his ways. We obey his word. Once he said forgive, we forgive. Once he said quiet and don't speak anything, shut your mouth, then we quiet. And when he said stop of your complaint, then we stop. These are basic, you know, teaching of the Holy Spirit in us. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And in verse 16, it says, Those who fear the Lord seek to please Him, and those who love Him are filled with His love. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So we keep seeking the Lord to please Him, to please Him. To please him. You know, in my, you know, walking in the Lord, I always counsel. I always counsel to Jesus if it's right or wrong. Is this the one? Is this the right way that I, 
that is this the right way, Lord, or is this right? You know, I always come to Him because you know when we know that um, sometimes if we are not counsel, counsel, coming to counsel to Him, uh, we can grieve Him. Okay, and that's why we 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 seek Him so that we can hear His voice. And once we hear His voice, we know what is right to do. And that's how it pleased him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And it said, those who love him are filled with his law. Filled with his law. Praise God. It's good that we are here in our Bible study. We want to fill our life, our heart with his law, with his words. You know, sometimes we are... I experienced this, you know, this, um, when once we come to the Lord, we are so hungry. I don't know if you experienced that one. Me, after a Bible study, once I feel that I'm not really, you know, it's like you're not eating a food and we are not satisfied and we eat another one like dessert or what. The same thing in, in the Bible study in his word. Once I'm not satisfied, I will find another teaching and I will go there and I will sit there and I will really listen and I will like feel myself with his word. Yeah, I always do that. And when I'm in China, I was not attending Bible study, but I I follow one of that um prophet that has the deep teaching about walking in the spirit and i learn a lot i learn a lot how to walk in the spirit and i go there every night i come to listen to him and listen to him and that's how i learned that jesus when he come to this earth he has the seven spirit and one of this is fear of the lord he has fear of his father and that's why even that cross he obey he obey and even to death you know, we know that one. Even to his death, he obey. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love, Lord. And then, and the last verse is, those who fear the Lord prepares their hearts and humble themselves before him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He prepare us. He prepare us. You know, all those trials that we have is, the Lord prepare us. He prepare us. And that's why we experience all this trials. Because all this trials is, is like a teaching. And once there's a teaching and we correct ourselves. And it becomes, you know, it's, it's like a preparation. You know, like a gold. The gold will not, you know will not become a gold if it's not put on fire. The same thing in us, we put on fire, so become we become a gold, we become purified. Thank you, Jesus. And it teaches us really how to humble, humble ourselves before him. Yeah, it said they're hum and humble themselves before him, before the Lord. Sometimes we focus to the other person to humble ourselves, but we humble before the Lord. Uh, we 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 seek to please Him, not the people, because the people cannot appreciate. But we fix our eyes on Him and we please Jesus. We please our Father, and that's why we obey. We humble. We don't complain. We learn to love love our enemy, love our husband, forgive them. Forgive those really, you know, um, hurt us. And we ask also forgiveness. We learn also to forgive because we are not perfect. We are not perfect. So we learn to really forgive. Forgive ourselves and for ask forgiveness to the Lord and forgive others. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So these are my teaching tonight praise the lord thank you jesus anyone want to share to add all this these are you know when i learn this teaching i learned it from china and i write it i write it in my notes and i've learned to really come to you that fear of the lord is the way to trust 
to hope for good and to to keep his word to seek to seek him to please him and to humble myself it's just a very basic teaching but this one is a big help when when we we obey when we obey his word and it can help us to walk in the spirit and in a victorious life once we obey all this we are walking now um in a victorious life praise god thank you jesus anyone want to share <clears throat> sister noni you want to add thanks jesus praise the lord and um, i think there's a scripture as well it says that the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom yes to have yes. the, the wisdom of god and that was the wisdom what is of that verse I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. But I was thinking, just yeah, thinking Solomon. I'm Solomon. That first. Actually, I have many that fear of the Lord, but that's the one I I share. Wait, let me. Should, Solomon. Should. Fear of beast. Anyone want to add? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let me find that verse. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Janet. Um, oh, you know, praise love. the Lord, you are here. <laughs> Proverbs nineteen. Uh, let me <laughs> let me yeah. put first. Yeah. Proverbs chapter uh, yeah cha nine at verse ten. Okay. Proverbs. Let um nine verse ten. It was it wasn't a Sol Solomon who asked God. He only wanted wisdom. He didn't want riches, and he was so wise. So maybe we yeah. should ask God for wisdom instead of things. Yes. Praise God. Yeah, Proverbs nine ten, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So we have learned about all the teaching about fear of the Lord, right? We have learned that just now, and that one that we have learned is the beginning of wisdom. And there are many about fear of the Lord I have in my notes. Praise God, but we don't have time. We can continue next time. And it said, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Philomena, what do you want to share? Yeah, um... You know, um, I don't know if you know that my marriage broke down twice. And if I had, um, you know, in my first marriage, if I had known the wisdom and the fear of the Lord, you know, I wouldn't be, you know, like I would sort of communicate with my husband more rather than because um, I don't want to go in the past and, Thing it too much, but mm. like um, I could have, com I should have communicated with my, but my husband would listen to my in-laws, and he would only listen to him. He would just ignore me completely. So yes, I started yeah. spraying. In as you know that I went with my second husband, yes, and yes. that's where all the hell starts. You know the the. the but now you are in paradise now. Yeah. <laughs> You are not Praise dwelling the in the house of the Lord. All the fever already given to you. Yeah, but you know, I wish that because I'm on my own now, I feel mm. like I wish I had I'd, I'd done things differently, you know. I wish mm. I'd known the word then, but you can't sort of go back and, mm. you know, change stuff now. It's too late. Just come to the Lord. I mean, that is still away. Yeah. For all yeah. our mistakes. Yeah, just accept what happened in the past. Just endure yeah. that pain. I have learned that one to like you know all those past. Just endure that pain and forgive, forgive ourselves, and ask the Lord also forgiveness, repentance, and learn how to obey with Him, and He will, I know He will speak to you for the right, the right thing, the right, you know, the right way that we have to to do in our life in our marriage and all areas of our life 
price ka yeah because i wish i wish i had done differently you know because i wouldn't be facing life alone now i mean you are not alone jesus is yeah. with you oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, John sixteen, the eighty, the eighty three. Yeah, that's you know, Jesus is our shepherd. We love. He's my bridegroom now. Yeah, praise God. Yeah, you are not alone. It's good to, you know, actually, for sometimes I, I, I desire to be alone. Why? Because I, yeah, I can have right. more time with the Lord. I can come to Him and spend time with Him. I can talk to Him. You know, but if you have the family, the children, the, you know, you're busy yeah, yeah. and doing I all. have children, yeah, but Bye. you know what how things are at the moment. Yeah, praise God. Yeah, praise God. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. And but I it's the that... peace. Yeah, you know, you, have, you get peace. You know, you don't have nobody telling you what to do. Nobody controlling you. Nobody is yeah. there. But, you know, you're with him and in his presence, you know, like. So, like, all my life I've been controlled by my in-laws, my husband, my Praise second God. husband. Mm. Yeah. So, it's Praise now, God. you know, like, yeah, a lot of people say, you know, who are married people, they say, I wish I was single. You mm. know, like, <laughs> because they say they always Praise argue with their spouse, you know, like their wife or uh, husband. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. It's good. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. It's good that you received that peace from the Lord. Yeah, and I never difficult times, you know. Yeah, hold on praise and him. worship him. Yeah, yeah, praise hold him. on on him. Praise God and praise God that you wake up early. You come. <laughs> you <laughs> know, I'm it's, surprised it's, that you are yeah, here. You know, it's here cold, like it's minus. I think minus two degrees Thank here. You, in Jesus. Italy. Yeah, I don't know what is it in Ireland, but it's so cold and and I hate cold. I I don't like getting up. I like to stay in bed and I would, you know, like, but I sort of, because the timing had changed, I don't come on time here. Praise God. So I Thank got up, go, go to bed late and get up late. Yeah. Mm. Praise God. I will share Thank another you. verse. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, Just go time. ahead, Sister Janita. Praise God. Not Janita. Uh, Janita. Hello. Go ahead. <laughs> It's good. Praise God. Sorry, Regina. This, is, this is Regina, not Jonita. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Regina, Jonita. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, go ahead, sister. Yeah, I just uh, praise Jesus. I just want to you mentioned about uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you were hearing Mary? something about the fear of the Lord. Yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, can you please tell me which what who was it? Uh, can you mention what teaching or uh, what's the name? Um, it's um wisdom of Ben Sarah. It's um ben Sarah. of Ben Sarah. Ben Sarah. Yeah. Okay. okay. In my Thank Bible, you. it said wisdom of Ben Sarah. Yeah, I will write here that verses because in KGV and in the it cannot find and praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you mentioned about the fear of the God, you were listening in China when you were for holidays. Yes, uh, and this yes, is the yeah. Bible that I have, and it's you know. I have this wisdom of Ben Sarah in my Bible, and I said, "Wow, oh, okay. yeah, it's okay. about fear of the Lord." So we have to. So really that's learn what's the name? To... That Bible is called uh, Ben Sarah has written that. No, uh, it's Bible. in the Bible, but part of that Bible is wisdom of Ben Sarah. Oh, like that. Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, and... Uh -huh. and what uh, version of Bible do you use, sister? Um, Nabri, um, the New American Bible. Oh, okay, okay. The New American. Okay, yeah, I just. It's yeah. a Catholic Bible. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. And I will... thank you, sister. And about another thing, I want to ask you, I mean, mm. as a... mm. when you're saying that about the fear of the Lord, mm. how you know that uh, uh, that you have uh, the fear of God? You know, it is uh, not everybody has. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that how do you know yeah. you receive the fear of God, sister? Can you explain? How do you receive? Uh, I will share. Oh, yeah, I will share. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fear of the Lord. I have already shared my testimony. Okay. One of my struggle is marriage. Okay. And mm -hmm. in my flesh, I want to give up already. Okay. I want okay. to give up. My flesh is screaming. Just let go and give up mm -hmm. that one. 
So that that suffering, that pain, that end, like mm -hmm. that, praise God. And I hold on many times. I cried to the Lord that I my covenant is not to to my husband. It's to you, Lord. And if yes. it's to him yeah. only, I said, mm -hmm. if it if it's only to him, I have given up long ago, even mm -hmm. like one year, two years. You know, because mm -hmm. of the difference of our belief and all this attack that they will come because of this coming of the word and and it's this is always our fight because of attending bible study and doing and always this that the devil always show up how Please, long you've been in the word sister it's like two years more than two, two years, years. Okay, yeah. okay yeah more than two years um bible study with brother vincent is like a, one year but mm -hmm. I've already started like that uh, slow, slow. But that, you know, when I start the Bible side, Brother Vincent is like every every night we have, right? So that's how mm -hmm. like yes. it opened yes. my yes. mind and it has transformed okay. me completely. And that's how, and then that fear of the Lord, I, I the Holy Spirit really said that I have to hold on. I also, also talked to Jesus that my covenant is in your Lord. It is in you. Because if yes. it's with God and he has sealed us, he cannot, the devil cannot pluck us from his no. hand. Okay? No. Yes. Our, our marriage, we are yes. sealed by the Holy Spirit. And whatever happened, that storm, once we hold on to him and we surrender to him and we talk to him that he has take over this marriage because we cannot do it anymore. Like we give up already, but we hold on to him. Okay? Yes. Once that fear, then the devil cannot block us out. He cannot make a way to separate, to destroy Amen. marriage. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Praise Thank you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, and that's why we have to counsel to him instead of going to our family. You know, in my struggle, I never share it to my parents, to my mother mm -hmm. and father, to my sister and brother. I only counsel to Jesus. No one knows my struggle in this marriage. Only when I testify and only Jesus. Mm -hmm. but yes. I didn't I didn't, you know, talk to others and and one thing also that I've learned we don't say negative words to our spouse. Okay. Yes. That's the yeah. one correction of the Lord in me. Yes. Don't say anything right. negative. And your spouse, that yeah, you want right. to praise mm -hmm. yourself and you want mm -hmm. to put down the yes. other side and you always point out the wrong of others and yes. and you know we make ourselves we are righteous and the other mm -hmm. you know and that um if there is a problem there we have also mistake it's not only in the other side but we have also mistake yes right? yes praise mm -hmm. God and that's how Perfect. we humble ourselves to the Lord and we we fear him we fear him is that we don't do we decide on our own like mm, we yes. have decided to really separate and talk like that we don't we counsel to him and we come to him to resolve the problem to yes. do it on his way not our way because the covenant is him he is the one who who sealed us it's not us we seal to the Lord yes, it's Jesus amen. sealed Thank us you. in yeah, our marriage that's what we have done, no? We have promised each other to God yeah. that we will never dead do us apart. So it's uh, that's what we have to hold on to God. What we have yeah. promised. Uh, yes. Doesn't matter what whatever's happening around the world, whatever yes. the evil is saying. Thank you, Jesus. All glory Thank to you, God. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sister. Yeah. Thank you, sister <clears throat> Regina, for asking. So everyone has to yes, because that is a testimony in my marriage. Mm. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And it is a journey. Yeah. This, is, this mm. is the same with me. So God knows everything. I don't want to say anything. He's my counselor. He's everything. So yeah, Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Yes, thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank, thank you, you sister. You will continue. Continue what you were doing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. To you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's good that you, you ask. Yeah. Praise God. And we learn another one. Yeah. yeah. It said here, then thou sh the then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Find the knowledge of God. Praise God. Because sometimes our knowledge is so, so, you know, uh, uh, there's limitation. But in the knowledge of God, he will example all this battle in our life. 
he just want to say wait and hold on and endure that pain and accept it and make peace on it and that's it but in our in our in our flesh desire we you know fight back we see a word that is not pleasing to god and that's how also the the mm, there is a a fight because of our word because of us but sometimes we blame the other side praise god thank you jesus but we have to learn learn to understand the fear of the lord praise god like job you know job he don't he has fear of the lord and even even everything is already taken from him his life his, his family his children his his life right but what he said um his word is i came from the dust and i returned to dust like that and he pray and he said i praise the lord amen praise that's god. true also the word is saying is correct praise god thank you yeah. jesus we came dust. we are going dust. we come we came naked we are going naked <laughs> yeah amen so naked. all this praise <laughs> god and and that's one of the example job has the fear of the lord even in the surrounding of him and even his wife he said that curse your god yeah before you die like that curse your god he said that, that, that that's the voice of wife praise god thank you jesus and but it's the voice of the devil but he but, stay firm yeah good he didn't do what the evil it's like adam and eve no <laughs> yeah he stay firm yeah. and really yeah. uh, trust the lord and instead he praise him in the midst of all that battle praise god thank you jesus and we go last this is psalm psalm 128 for praise god thank you jesus <clears throat> behold that thus shall the man be blessed that fear the lord praise god Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feared the Lord. So once we have that fear of the Lord, that blessing, the spirit of blessing is pursuing us. You know, we are blessed. It's already past tense. Thus that shall, that thus shall the man be blessed that fear the Lord. So that fear of the Lord is really important praise god thank you jesus praise god. Thank and you, one jesus. of the fear of the lord is when we 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 keep our mouth yeah we keep our mouth and what you know the negative words hmm. some or someone say negative to us we shut our mouth we quiet we don't retaliate or we, we don't say negative back to that person we shut that's one of fear of the Lord and that's one wisdom that is wisdom also and humility there's so many once we sh you shut our mouth we humble ourselves because we don't we don't fight back right because if we fight we have that pride and we 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 think that we are right you know we prove that we are right but in the kingdom of God we shut our mouth, we humble ourselves and let the enemy whatever he want to do. And we we come to the Lord, we surrender, we let him take over the situation and he will show up. Praise God. How many times I experienced that one? I just surrender and let him do it and I quiet myself. I don't speak and he show up. And there's peace, just peace you know the spirit of the lord the peace just like poured out and there is like reconciliation it's like nothing happened <laughs> praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus let's have closing prayer and then we have fellowship sister regina can you do the closing <laughs> okay thank yes you, jesus thank, thank you, jesus. you jesus thank you jesus yes father lord and father son and the holy spirit amen thank you abba father thank you for bringing us together here you know, in one accord. Thank you, Abba. All glory to you, God. Thank you for Sister 
Janet and yeah, bless her, bless her family and bless each and every one who's here and also those who couldn't make it today, bless them. And your presence goes with all them, whoever, wherever they are and give them rest today also, brother Vincent and Melanie, whatever. That it'll be your word they'll be preaching and thank you for your word, Holy Spirit, for being us in the midst and thank you. Yes, for the word, Father, that we will continue only fear of you, fear of, the, of your word, God, fear what you have for us, Father, not what we want but what you want for us, God. You have given everything on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Father, for the every drop of blood you have shed on the cross, Father. You are loving God, your mighty God, your merciful God. Father, we, we thank you and praise you. We can't thank you enough, Father. Your, our life is in your hands. You have the whole world in your hands. Father, thank you and bless you for each one of us and our loved ones and family. And you will also open their eyes that you will get, they will get to know what is happening, what, what the cross, what you did on the cross for each one of us, Father. Thank you. I praise you, Jesus. Ask this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.